Like, oh, eight, and five. That's seven, right. Yeah. Yeah. Six, yeah. Five, really, it was four, a breakout qualifying, four, qualifying round three, for them in November. Two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Oh, and that spin up time on Judge's Dream is just devastating. They are ready to take you out within a picosecond of the match starting. And you can see this aggressive driving style of Hunter Yankaskis. He is just keeping the front of his bot facing towards you at all times. You have no time to recover. Look, right there, Quarantine trying to self right. Judge's Dream just on top of him the entire fight. Boom, boom, boom. And bots like this, the way that they self right is they have to run into the wall and use the power of their own weapon to put themselves over. Oh. Judge's Dream is completely invertible. It works upside down, it works right side up. It's, it's fine either way. It looks like the weapon on Judge's Dream might be down. Nope. Yeah, he just turned it off to protect it while he was flailing around like that. The reaction time on Hunter specifically is so good. He's really able to adapt on the fly. And Hunter is really uh, trying to angle his, uh, his robot to go weapon on weapon, but it looks like the weapon on Quarantine might be down nah, now. I think it is down. Yeah, I think you're right. That's not where you want to be 90 seconds left on the clock. No, especially not against a weapon as powerful as Judge's Dream. Judge's Dream, of course, named because he does not want these fights to ever go to the judges. He wants them to just sit back, <laughs> relax, enjoy some Christmas cookies. Good pushing power, though, from Quarantine here. But really, with the back half of this match, it's going to come down to reliability for Hunter. Yeah. Can he uh, avoid getting high-centered? Can he pick a couple of good moments? I mean... Quarantine is looking rough. One of its bunny ears is gone. Its weapon is down. It's inverted. It's on its head. And really, uh, quarantine driver Jacob Saxon is doing everything he can to uh, rack up control points if he can. Yeah. There you go, Hunter getting That's a little That's a great pin. pin. At this point, Hunter has uh, racked up all of the damage points that he wants to rack up, so he's showing some control and aggression points here. And it looks like Quarantine might be very low on their mobility. They're not able to get out of that corner. Maybe one side of their drive. Yeah, it looks like the, uh, the right side of their drive is down. Oh, no, it's still spinning, but that bent bunny ear has yeah. meant only one of their wheels is engaging with the floor at all. And that got them jammed up in the corner. We're down to Oof. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, that's the end of this fight. Drive into the, uh, drive to the doors, turn off your weapons if you can. This Great one goes match. to the judges, and that is not how you want to end a fight that goes to the judges. Stuck up against the wall, unable to move. All oh. right, uh, we're gonna go back to the pits with Katie Cooper as uh, the judges deliberate. Uh, she's there with Christian Cooper, who has more information about the fire. More information is right. Actually, he just got his hands on the robot <laughs> for the first time. As you're taking a glance at it, what's your take? There are no salvageable electronics in this. Oh. Wow. It's pretty much all dead, aside from maybe the motors. Wow. Uh, as to what happened, I don't know. It was charging at a uh, normal charging rate for the batteries, 1C, which it should nothing should have happened wrong with it. I was over by the arenas whoops, uh, in some matches, and apparently mine was the one that caught fire. So that's cool. Wow, so this is How does Esther. this change a day for you? I have to rewire the entire robot now from scratch. So it's a lot busier, a lot busier. <laughs> Gentlemen, you have anything for him? Otherwise, it looks like he has to get yeah, some things like moving here. Yeah, it looks like we got to let you get back to yeah, it. Yeah, get to yeah. it, man. you got <laughs> a lot of work. To it. Good luck. Whew. All right, let's go over to the judges. All right, this calls for a judge's decision. This is a pretty easy one for you fellas. Was this a judge's dream for you? Oh, look at these. Ooh, it's one-sided, Kyle. Wow. Wow. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I feel like I have to do like arithmetic now. You know what I mean? 